Hi, Encina Free School. This is Teacher Kim, and I'm here to read you an amazing story called Grandpa's Garden. We've been looking at my garden out in the yard, and I have lots of different vegetables growing. I told you I had some tomatoes and some strawberries, and hmm, what else did I have out there? Oh, zucchini and green beans. We're going to have to check back in and see what's happening with those later in the week. Okay, when we're reading this story, I want you to think about what it would take to get a garden going. What do you think I had to do before I planted all those vegetables in the garden? Hmm, I wonder. Let's see if the story tells us. Grandpa's Garden by Stella Fry and illustrated by Sheila Moxley. It's springtime, Grandpa. Can we begin? <gasps> the days are still short and the light is sharp like lemon juice. But here and there, green spears have pierced the soil. Soon there will be daffodils. <gasps> Ooh, look at those. Do you see under the ground? There's roots and bulbs. And then on the top, there's little green shoots. That's what he said is going to grow daffodils. I wonder where they're going to do in the garden. What do you think they're doing in the garden? I snuggle deep in my hat and scarf. I tramp in Grandpa's footsteps to the vegetable patch at the garden's end. I try to dig, but the ground is too hard. It's no use, Grandpa. Everything is dead. He chuckles, and his eyes are full of summer. It's only sleeping, Billy. Come and see. What do you think it means when he says his eyes are full of summer? Hmm, maybe it means he's thinking a lot about summer and all the things that grow in the garden during the summertime. One slice of his spade and the soil turned inside out. Beetles, bugs, and wriggly worms are busy breaking up the earth. Look how hard they work, said Grandpa. Shall we help them? Do you see all those bugs in the garden? That is a good place to look for bugs. If you have a garden or dirt at your house, I bet you if you dig in the dirt, you might find some of these bugs. But please leave them outside. Your mommies and daddies don't want them in their house. Soon we dig and dig. All that digging makes my stomach rumble. Grandpa says the soil is hungry too. Waking after such a long sleep, we need to feed it or nothing will grow. What do you feed a garden? I don't know. What do you think we have to feed it? All year long, he's cooked a steaming compost heap. Oh, look at all that stuff in the compost heap. Nothing is wasted. Vegetables peelings and long cuttings and every fallen leaf is in that compost heap. And now it's rich and dark and sweet and ready to spread on our vegetable beds. And then we wait. It's hard to wait. Do you see all those things in the compost? Mmm. I wonder what happens with all that stuff. It's warmer now and lighter outside. Leaves uncrumple, soft as silk on waking trees. Look, they're starting to grow. Have you noticed some leaves growing on trees at your house? Grandpa crumbles the earth like chocolate cake. Ready, Billy? It's planting time. Ooh, I wonder what they're going to plant. We comb the soil with our rakes and mark out lines with sticks and string. Peas and beans and pumpkin seeds need tucking in with careful fingers. See? Look at all that. 
Grandpa has sprouted trays of potatoes. We bury them and pat the soil around. And then we wait. It's so hard to wait. It's hard to wait for things, huh, friends? Every day I run to look, but there's nothing there. Grandpa, I wail, why is it so slow? Did anything grow yet? Patience, Billy, Grandpa smiles. Good things take time, but just this once, I'll let you peep. He's looking, he's gonna dig in there. What do you think he's gonna find? A teepee marks the beans we buried weeks before. In I dig, finger and thumb, a gentle tug, and up comes one of the, comp up one comes, complete with brand new baby roots. And look, another shoot is reaching up towards the light. Oh, there, says Grandpa, not long now, but it's still so hard to wait. Do you see? Look at those little roots and those little teeny shoots that are coming up. Grandpa gives me jobs to pass the time. Here with my watering can, I rain, I'm a rainmaker, a cloud shaker, sprinkling rainbows on thirsty soil. And now, as if by magic, Spring burst in and everything starts to grow. Oh my goodness, look at all those things. There's some carrots. Looks like there's some leaf, some lettuce. Hmm. Maybe there's some peas back there. Oh my goodness, that seems so exciting. And he's watering all the plants. Oh look, there's some radishes. Oh, maybe some turnips. Some more peas back there. Oh, and there's a greenhouse. A greenhouse is where you can grow things that need to be a little warmer. But the plants are in danger. Look what's happened, Grandpa, come with me. Oh no, something is stealing our garden. I spy slimy slugs and snails, caterpillars too. And I see aphids and black flies feasting on young, frail leaves. We can't wait, there isn't time. But Grandpa doesn't seem to mind at all. Have a look around, Billy, he said. Tell me who you can see and tell me how they protect the garden. Be quiet, mind you. What do you see? So you see some slugs and snails. There's slugs, snails, those little caterpillars. Do you see anything else? Hmm, let's keep looking. <gasps> Very quietly, I start exploring. I find hungry frogs and sniffling hedgehogs. Oh, and then there are lazy ladybugs and gazy hoverflies. And I see busy, bright-eyed birds flying down from the trees, searching for supper. They are the best friends we could have, says Grandpa, and he's right. Our friends help keep those bugs at bay, and Grandpa knows a trick or two. Oh, look, they're picking up some, some pests from the garden. Everything's growing now, in the summer sun, scrambling higher, squabbling for space. Squabbling means fighting, just a little fighting, you know, not really mean, just a little bit. Grandpa shows me how to pull out the weaker plants and greedy weeds. We squeeze some room for baby plants, tomatoes, cucumbers, and strawberries grown in Grandpa's greenhouse. So did you remember how he said the greenhouse is where you needed to grow warmer things? Well, tomatoes and cucumbers, they like to be warm when they first start. You have to wait a little longer to put them out. So now they're putting them out. At last, it's harvest time. There's so much to do. We dig and pick. Oh my, there's no time at all. My basket fills and my mouth blooms with bright strawberry juice. <gasps> Look at all those strawberries. But when I pop a pot of peas, I found that caterpillars have gotten in there before me. One for the compost. 
Grandpa says, and we have plenty more though. It's okay. Grandpa leaves some peas and beans unpicked. The pods bake in the late summer sun and they crackle and split their seams. Together, we scoop the insides into paper bags. These are next year's crop, he said. I always grow a few more than I need. I wonder what, how they're gonna do that. Do you think they save the seeds from the peas? I think that's what they do. The sun sinks, tender as the ripest peach. We light a fire, Grandpa and me roasting potatoes and toasting our toes. Grandpa sips from his cup of tea and I try to swallow my yawns. Autumn is sending the soil to sleep again and it won't be long before the winter is here. But spring will follow again and we'll be there, Grandpa and me, to welcome it all again. I can't wait. Look at that. They're having an outside barbecue on the fire. Isn't that cool? Look at all the things they got from their garden. Okay, we'll have to see what happens with Teacher Kim's garden. Maybe I might get a lot of vegetables. Do you think they're going to get big? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe you can help me water it next week. That would be fun. Okay, you guys, have a great day. Thank you so much for visiting. And don't forget to push subscribe down here so that, that way you always get announcements when there's a new video. Okay, bye.